to this series of Lumira expert uh, demonstrations and this one is about uh, joining data different joining types and especially a key feature in Lumira which is called blending where uh, you do not need a, a unique key anymore in your lookup tables um, well let me show you a few of the possibilities over here on the screen you see an excel file that i'm going to use um, it has three different tabs and there are some um, some difficulties in there to combine all the data uh, that we need to challenge and i will explain you how on the first tab you see region sales uh, so we have um, two regions i have in my example three products uh, some years and some sales numbers on regional level in the second tab i have global sales figures um, only on year level and on quarter level with the global sales number yeah. in the third tab and i will use that data later on i've also order data per product and you can imagine the challenge if i want to combine this data um, in a uh, attractive and correct data visualization let's give it a shot my name is Ivo van der Zand. I work for SAP Business Analytics for SAP Vlux. So let us start creating a new document and I pick up the, um, the data set which is called Blending Sales and Orders. And uh, let me pick up the first tab with Regional Sales. So I create the data and I am um, over here where my data is. So I have the sales number over here and the different numbers um, different um, attributes over here and i'm going to create a simple cross tab with my sales numbers per region so this is the data coming from tab one so let me now add a second uh, data set uh, again from the same file where i pick up the second tab with the global sales numbers i'll pick that up here it is and if I now drag and drop the global sales number uh, together in my visualization that I already had, you will see that the uh, data linking uh, dialog box pops up where I'm going to link year on year together. Uh, you'll see it visualized uh, in this section. And I tick the OK button and uh, I'm being warned that given the fact that I have a linked dimension that uh, the year will be added to my visualization and if I press OK then I have the following result as you can see on the uh, result I have an omission so I have a double count over here in the global sales numbers uh, given by the fact that I cannot break down the region to a better way uh, one of the solutions would be to make the link uh, not only over year over uh, on year but over more dimensions but i don't have linking dimensions more linking dimensions in my data set so um, i need to remove a year for my data set uh, to get the correct result and to include the 2015 um, global sales numbers in uh, the year dimension that i'm missing right now what I can do is I can click the data sets in use and over here I have an option for the different types of joins. So I will now go to a uh, full auto join and as you can see my result now is correct although I still don't have the region. Uh, I do have the 2015 global sales numbers correctly in my visualization. The way to handle the joins is quite uniquely in uh, in Lumira and uh, I think these options over here the different types of joining and even exceptions so uh, records that fall out of the join you can display them too is very powerful so let me now add the third data set which uh, has the order data so I pick it up here it is and if I now uh, take the number of orders um, again prompted to uh, link the data so uh, I can link that on product level and again it's indicated over here and the result that I get um, being warned again that product is now will be added to my visualization because of the linking and the result looks like the following and uh, to remove the, uh, the uh, double counting in the global sales I uh, need to adjust this uh, link to a inner join 
which gives me now the perfect result of uh, combining three different types of data uh, into one visualization. So we have the per product, per year, the sales, global sales and number of orders uh, visualized in one overview. Imagine that in a new scenario we are looking for the year-over-year -year winning sum of orders by retailer. Let me show you how you can accomplish that goal. So let me add the retailer uh, dimension to the row level. And you will see that Lumira is rolling up the number since retailer is not part of um, data set number one and is not part of a linked dimension. So to uh, try to avoid uh, duplications, uh, Lumira is rolling up the number. If I still want to see the breakdown, I can tick this, uh, this menu and uh, tick the show multiple matching members uh, section, which gives me the following result. And as you can see, only uh, a few retailers have a number of orders that is bigger than one. And since we are interested in the year-over-year -year performance of the number of orders, we need to adjust the uh, data set 3 linkage granularity. And uh, to start doing that, let me first create a hierarchy on order date. So I do this by clicking the wheel and create a date-time hierarchy, which I can use in my linking scheme. I can adjust the uh, data 3 linking, so data set 1 to data set we uh, as follows. I tick the uh, data uh, menu and tick the link data set uh, and I tick the orders over here and now I adjust my linking uh, granularity with not only product to product but also year to year and I OK that. As you can see now that the uh, new inner join, adjusted inner join granularity now shows only three retailers per year instead of the, um, the four or five that we had previously with the double count. So we have a better result uh, right now and we now can start creating our year over year running calculation. To do so I uh, tick the running, uh, running calculations button and I choose uh, number of orders, the winning kind is a winning sum and I choose as reset the year which now gives me this result. If you uh, however would like to see all the orders of data set 3 then you just need to, um, to change the, um, the join type for data set 3 to a full auto one. And now you see all the orders for data set 3. Personally, I believe this is a very uh, unique and powerful feature that we have in uh, this self service tool, uh, Lumira. So you can play around with uh, the granularity of the joints uh, and the type of joints, um, and that helps you a lot in creating time driven. Um, calculations like we did in the example over here, year on year. Many thanks for your attention. My name is Ivo van der Zand, Business Analytics SAP. Thank you.